guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mayuri. So this is a new week, and we are at a new location. I am heading to Gudi Bande Fort, which is around 100 kilometers on the north side of Bangalore. And on my way, I just stopped to see this amazing view of a lake, which looks super cool. It just passes through um, a road passes through middle by of this lake. But only one disadvantage is the lake is pretty dirty. It's not clean, so you can see. It's brown in color and this lake is called Bayasandra Lake and also is Gudi Bande Lake though. So we had to go about 3 to 4 kilometers ahead to actually Gudi Bande Fort. There's just so many hills up there. I'm not sure which one is the actual Gudi Bande Fort. So I'm on my two-wheeler as usual again. So let's just go ahead. These roads here are just so cool. It's just nice windy and breezy. Looks like there are quite a few people who are going to the Goody Bande Fort, but let me just go and check. So this place is um, onto the Bangalore north of 100 kilometers from the city and it's really nice. So as it's on the national highway, the roads are really good and this place is called Goody Bande Fort. So um, as you can read in the title though below, but it's a nice place to come by and it looks very pleasant and that's the hill there which you have to climb the stairs. You can climb and um, there's a little space for parking and they charge about 20 rupees for a two-wheeler to park i'm not sure of how much they would charge for a car so let's just get going then so far has been good look at the view you can just see you're able to see the city and at the far there you're able to see the lake though which we just crossed on our path so I think there's more to go this hike is gonna take up up to two hours this is a much bigger hike compared to the Mandaragiri hills let's go now as I thought it would be. It's really easy and you can see there's just a lot of wind blowing. It's not even sunny today. Um, it's a good thing that you come to this place in October and uh, November and December. But just make sure you check the weather report that it's not raining. And the walk path of this fort is really nice. trail is not completely mountain you can just see that this is the flat land a few places and a few places you have steps and a few places there's bushes you just have to pass through them so it's not quite tiring I must say okay I do need a little rest now I've been climbing and recording for one hour 
let's take a break and enjoy this cool breeze it's not really sunny you can just see how shady it is so there's a lot of greenery around here which is making the hike very easy <laughs> different compared to all other forts that I have been so it's actually at an incline but it's not like you'll have to climb completely like that so there's just you walk path through stairs and through flat land and here a few caves kind of thing so it's like there's a rock and there's a path caved inside so it's very pretty and it's like you're just going around round around it so basically like a zigzag so, so does it doesn't make you feel like you're just climbing the same path over and over. It's just like a turn and every corner just looks so different. Oh man. Have we made it to the fort yet? No. We still have few more meters to climb up. Yay. It's like we've almost made it to the top. I guess that's the last one. And this view is very nice to click amazing photos. And yeah, that was like one and a half hour, but with the pictures and videos, so that's like two hours. So let's just go on top and check out the view from there. Out the Kodibande city there. This just looks so amazing from the top. So there's nothing much to do on top here. It's just a view and it's just the four borders. And this seems to be like a temple which is currently closed. And you can just enjoy the view here. There's not many people actually and it's just amazing that in and around 100 kilometers of Bangor, you can see such lush greenery, I must say. And this is to the Goodibande Ford and its view. And I hope you guys liked it. So uh, the entire trekking course was two hours. And the view is worth coming up till here. And there's also a time lapse that you can see on my Instagram. So do check that out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.